Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, and in this video, we will go through the Cloud Portal's IFS, or Infor Federation services, to the Azure AD Identity Provider's SKIM setup and configuration. This will include configuring the SKIM service and agent on both the Infor Cloud Suite and Azure's Identity Provider SKIM interface. Businesses may want to integrate with Microsoft's Azure AD Identity Provider and use the SKIM or a system for cross-domain identity management interface to automate and maintain user provisioning with their corporate sign-on credentials and set up on the cloud suite. Here is a diagram showing the high-level architecture of what will take place. Configuring the SKIM service and agent on the Infor Cloud Identity Provider with the corporate data center's Azure AD Identity Provider. Let's start by configuring the SKIM service on the Cloud Identity Provider. Open a browser and navigate to the Infor Cloud Portal. Log on to the Cloud Portal with an admin Cloud Identity account. Once in the Cloud Portal, if the OS application is not displayed, select the OS application from the navigation menu. Select the Security tab on the top of the page. Or you can also select a security card located on the main page. This will bring you to the user management screen. If you do not have the security tab or card displayed, you will need the IFS application admin and portal content administrator security roles assigned to your user account. You will need to enable the SKIM service feature on the tenant. In the Users menu selector, expand Security Administration and then expand Settings. Select the General Settings link. Under Manage Features, check the Enable SKIM Service checkbox and click Save. Note, once SKIM is configured, you do not want the Cloud Identity email notifications to be distributed. Users will use the Azure Authentication to log in. To disable this option, in General Settings, expand Email Settings and uncheck the Send Email to New Users Automatically when New Users are Added checkbox and click Save. Click Yes on the Confirmation window. Refresh the browser page. Under the Users menu selector, expand Manage and select SKIM Accounts. Click the plus sign to create a SKIM service account. Enter a SKIM password and confirm password. Enter a password based on the policy requirements shown on the page. Click the Save button. Then click Yes on the warning window. Note this password should be saved in a secure location and may have to be used for troubleshooting the SKIM connection in the future. A user identifier will be generated for the SKIM account. Make sure to slide the field box to the right so that the entire value can be viewed. You will need the following SKIM information from the Cloud Suite to generate the SKIM agent connection in Azure. You need the V2 endpoint or URL the user identifier, and the password. You will now create the SKIM agent in Azure AD. Access the Azure portal. Select Azure Active Directory under the Azure Services. Go into the enterprise application you created for the Infor Federation. Note, if you did not create an enterprise application for the Authentication Federation, you will need to create one for SKIM to use. If you need assistance on creating an enterprise app for the Infor Federation, you can view the YouTube video for Federating an Infor Cloud Suite to Azure AD. In the Enterprise app, under Manage, select Provisioning, then click the Get Started button. Change the provisioning mode to automatic and paste the SKIM v2 endpoint URL information into the tenant URL field. Before entering the secret token value, you will need to convert the value to Base64 encoding. 
Open an application tool that has Base64 encoding capability, like Notepad++. Copy and paste the Cloud Portal Skim user identifier information. Navigate to the end of the line and add a colon followed by the Skim password. Highlight the line you just created and click the Plugins tab on the top of the page. Hover over the Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions or MIME Tools option and select the Base64 Encode with Padding option. Copy the token value generated by the encoder and return to the Azure portal. Paste the token into the secret token field. Click the Test Connection button. A successful connection message will be displayed if the connection was successful. Click the Save button. Toggle the provisioning status to on and click Save. Note the users that are assigned to the Enterprise app will be targeted for user provisioning on the Cloud Portal's IFS. If some of those users are already provisioned on the Cloud Portal, Skim will skip those records on the initial run. To perform a Provision on Demand call, click on the Provision on Demand button. In the Select a User or Group field, input your search credentials and click the Provision button. You should see success notification messages as the account gets provisioned. Return to the Cloud Portal and access Users under Manage. Validate that your Azure accounts have been provisioned via the Skim interface. Drill down into User Details by clicking the Drill Down icon and click the Activity tab. You will see that Skim has created the user account. This concludes this presentation of the Identity and Access Management Cloud Portal's Skim User Provisioning and Management Configuration to the Azure AD Identity Provider. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.